All right, all right. Uh, shalom, my uh, First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kudash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give a uh, peace, and greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim, you know, that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. And why I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And a Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash, you know, uh, Adawan Rataza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lessons today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash, it's going to be basically on the glory of the kingdom, all right, and how beautiful the kingdom is going to be, all right, on earth, all right, because the kingdom of heaven, all right, is for the nation of Israel, all right, started with our Lord Yahweh Shah, who the world of England called Jesus Christ, all right, the Most High Yahweh, who the world of England called God, his name is Yahweh, he's going to send his only begotten son back, which his name is Yahweh Shah, meaning he Savior, he deliver, all right, to gather the elect of Israel. And the Israelites are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Also, the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and our Lord Yahushua is going to save a remnant of his people, the elect, that was chosen from the foundation of the earth to receive salvation, all right? He's going to set up an everlasting kingdom for us. He's going to take down these heathens, the powers that be, these Edomites, these so-called white people, and all these heathens these all these other nations all right the moabites which are the so-called chinese the, the ammonites which are so-called japanese elamites the east indians all right ishmael the so-called arabs uh Japheth, the the polynesian people the pacific islanders these hamites the true africans they're all going into slavery under the under our lord yahusha under the israelites all right and they're going to build up the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth as it says in the scriptures, man. All right. The Christian church teaches you that the kingdom of heaven is going to be, all right, uh, in the clouds and things like that. Nah. This, the, the, the kingdom is going to be a physical place, man. All right. Which the whole earth is ours. All right. And these nations, they're going to build up a Jerusalem, the headquarters, Israel, the promised land that the Lord promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. That land is going to be beautified. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 9. It says, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art ready to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High Yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. So, this is what is this going to? This is going to, all right, Revelation 5, chapter, going to how John the Revelator on the island of Patmos received visions. All right, he wept because what? The seals. Of the understanding of the what the Bible was sealed was seven completely sealed. So the understanding of the Bible, all right, was was sealed up into our Lord Yahweh Shai. I was slain. All right, through his blood, we have the understanding in these times. All right, and when the Lord returns, he's gonna redeem the elect out of every kindred, tongue, people, and nation, because the elect is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. As it says in Deuteronomy 28, 64. That was one of the curses that the Lord was gonna put upon us. And the Lord, Matthew 24, said he said he's going to gather his elect from the four winds from one in the earth to another. So our people, the Israelites, were scattered amongst the heathens, but the Lord is going to redeem us. All right. All right. All right. Via the chariot, so-called UFO, he's going to deliver us, man. All right. Verse 10, it, it says, and has made us unto our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So who are the kings and priests? All right. That's going to reign on the earth. This book of Exodus chapter 19 in verse, I'll read verse one and I'll go to the point. It says, in the third month when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. All right. So this is talking about Israel, Moses on Sinai. Actually, let me just read it. It says, for they, for they were departed from uh, Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness and there... Israel kept before the mount. Verse 3. And Moses went up unto the Most High Yahweh, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the to the house of Jacob, tell and tell the children of Israel. Alright, so this is for the children of Israel. 
get down verse five. Why just continue on? Verse uh, four. You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto my unto myself. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then shall so then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth are mine. So the Lord told us we're going to be above all people. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So we're going to be a kingdom of priests. The Lord said in Revelation 5, let's get that again, 5 and 10, it has made unto us our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So the kings in the east, the kings and the priests that's gonna reign on the earth are the Israelites. And who's gonna build up their empire? I mean the kingdom. All right. You heathens. All right. This is the book of Tobit, chapter three, and verse 15. It says, Let my soul bless the power, bless the most high Yahweh, the great king, Yahweh Bashimasha, for Jerusalem or Yerushalem, meaning city of peace shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. So this is how Jerusalem is going to be built up. Obviously, this is a future prophecy because Jerusalem right now is not built up with sapphires and emeralds and the walls and the towers and battlements with pure gold. So this is a future prophecy, which is going to happen in the kingdom of heaven. So obviously, the people that's dwelling in the land right now is not the people of the Most High. They're not the children, the true our heirs uh, of that land. They're not the true people. All right, they're imposters, they're fakes. They're Edomites, actually. And the Lord hates Edom. Edom. The Lord gave them the fatness of the earth. All right, this is their time to rule so the Lord can take them out of power and show the earth, all right, how not to be ran. All right, because Esau is the wicked that destroyed the earth. So the Lord said he's going to destroy him that destroyed the earth. So the Lord's going, after a thousand years of them serving hardcore slavery, they're going to get burned out, their whole nation, pursuant to the book of Obadiah, the verse, uh, verse 18. You can read it. So the Lord said uh, via Tobit, what Tobit said, Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires. And these are real precious stones. And the battlements and the walls with pure gold. Verse 17, and the streets of Jer Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones of Ophir. Stones of Ophir, what? The gold. All right. And all her streets shall say, Alleluia, and they shall praise him and say, Blessed be the Most High, which have bestowed it forever. And what's going on in the streets of it, it that's in the Holy Land? All right, there's bombing, there's war. The Lord said, when we come back into the land, there shall not be no war, but we're going to dwell safely. All right, so you other nations, y'all going to build up our, our kingdom, man. So get ready. This is the book of um, Isaiah 60. All right. Because we're coming into a time that the Lord is going to exalt his people. First, he's going to get his glory, our Lord Yahushai. And what these, uh, and what us being joint heirs with him, and he's going to give us uh, uh, um, honor, man. And you nations, y'all going to bow down to us, man. This is Isaiah 60 and verse 9. It says, Surely the eyes shall wait for thee, the owls shall wait for thee, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy power. And to the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. So the sons of strangers are going to build up our walls. These heathens. Because the scripture said, uh, Jerusalem shall be built up with the walls with gold. All right. Who's going to build that up? They, the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. They're going to be brick laying brick, man. They're going to be in the field sweating just how our people was over here in captivity. All right, in the South America, how the Northern Kingdom was getting uh, getting uh, oppressed, man. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, had, they had us in these fucking uh, sugarcane fields, these cotton fields and shit, man. They got a, they got our brothers and sisters in these fucking construction high uh, skyscrapers, which you're not supposed to build. I think you're not supposed to build, but uh, over three stories, man. These shits goes up to like 100 feet, I mean, 100 stories, 90, 80, 40 stories. All right. They're going to be building up our walls just how we build out, build up their empire, man. It says, the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath, I smote thee. But in my favor, I will have. But in my favor, have I had mercy on thee. So the Lord smote us. The Lord put the curses on us. 
But now the curse is going to come upon what? The heathen. All right. Read Deuteron Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15 on down. This book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 in verse 7. It says, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and upon them that hate thee, which persecute thee. So the Lord said he's going to put the curses that's on us upon our enemies. All right. This is the good news. This is the gospel. All right. We shall not we shall not be afflicted again, man. We're gonna be joy. We're gonna actually enjoy the earth, enjoy our people. All right, they're gonna be in their right mind. All right, you heathens, y'all gonna fear us. Y'all gonna fear our Lord Yahweh. All right. But hey, after a thousand years of that hardcore slavery, we being the laws into y'all. Y'all gonna be good because the scripture says when the rights are authority, the people rejoice. Y'all gonna be good. All right, y'all going to have y'all land back, but y'all going to always, always be tributaries unto us, man. The earth is going to be at rest, man. All right, so the Lord smote us, but he's going to have mercy on us. And what? And he's going to put these curses upon the heathens, and we're going to be good. Verse 11, it says, Therefore thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentile, meaning their riches, and that their kings may be brought. So they're going to, our gates is going to be open continually. Are right, you will, in the in the uh, ancient world, your gates will be closed, all right, so the enemy won't come in, all right. But these to come in to attack. But in the kingdom, we're gonna dwell safely, so our gates is gonna be open that day every day. What it says, it says, uh, day nor night. So every like all the time is gonna be influx, man. Influx of riches, man. You know, I believe except maybe not on the Sabbath, you know. We'll know that in the kingdom, you know, because that's what I'm supposed to rest. But, hey, th these heathens, they're going to come and bring us all type of things, man. Their daughters, concubines, all right, gold, silver, different in uh, incense, di different fabrics, all right, different uh, uh, trees, different plants. You know, did I say animals, uh, different animals, man. All right. Everything, man. Different type of uh food, seeds, and things like that. They gonna Jerusalem, the the Holy Land is gonna be beautiful, man. The scripture said we gonna we gonna be joined. As it says, we are gonna be joy in the streets. The scripture says, say Hallelujah, man. All right, our people not gonna be sick no more. The Lord says you shall see no more death. Cause why? The Lord's gonna put us lost as commandments our inward part. We never gonna sin again, man. All right, and these kings gonna be they're brought. The kings may be brought. They are gonna be in chains in front of us, man. And they're going to do whatever we say. If they don't do it, hey, they're going to get hit with a rod of wine, man. Verse 12 says, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. I mean, they're going to be judged, man. All right, that says in what Zechariah, I believe, 14. Chapter, they don't come up to the Feast of Tabernacle. Hey, they're not going to receive no rain. All right? The Lord going to give us that power, man. Verse 13, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box all together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. So what? The, the earth is going to be glorious. Jerusalem is going to be beautiful, man. The promised land. Verse 14, the sons also of them that afflict thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the sole of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of of the Lord, the Zion, the Holy One of Israel. So they're going to bow down. They're going to reverence us, man. Verse 15, whereas thou has been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. So our seed is going to be joyous for many generations, forever, really. Like I will, I mean, all right? Forever and ever, man. We're going to be on top, man. That's why we got to give diligence to make our let call and lecture sure hey man that we may be delivered and see this being being uh uh forwarded man see see the see the first brick see the salvation see the downfall see the kingdom get the crown i want to see all of it lord when i'm a part of it lord when you brothers are part of it see the apostles get delivered see the brothers the akim and the, the new believers all right the brothers that just woke up and the lord you know about to deliver them man all right, the heads, the, the, the bishops, the elder bishops, the, the apostles that have been laboring for years, 
get their reward, man. And see this, you know, see see our nation being built up and see the downfall of these heathens and see and see the Lord works, man. We want to be a part of that. Verse 60. Isaiah 60, so like Isaiah 16 and 16 says, Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Well, what? These nations, they're going to give us their riches, man. All right? They're going to have all type of gold. They're just going to come fucking ships and sh uh Full of, full of everything, man. You know? Scripture say, I have not seen, ear have not heard. Neither has it come into the, in the mind of man. You know, roughly paraphrasing, roughly paraphrasing what the Lord had prepared to them that love him, man. So it's going to be even better than what I'm saying, man. Through the Spirit. Verse 17. For brass I will bring, for brass, it's like he says, for brass I will bring gold. And for iron I will bring silver. Just how... Abundance of brass, that's how much abundance is going to be gold. And for iron, that's how much abundance is going to be for silver. And for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. I will also make the officers, thy officers, peace, and thy exact, exactors, righteous, righteousness. And violence shall no more be found. So, so like it says, no, violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Proving that those not the people because there's violence in the land, so... Put two to two together. The Lord said when we are in the land, there ain't going to be no violence. All right. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting no destruction within thy borders. Thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day. Neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light in thy power, thy glory. Because what the presence of the Lord is going to be. All right, in the kingdom, man, and thy sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. I mean, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, because we're going to always have that. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ending. Ended. So the Lord's going to end. The Lord said, there shall no be no mourning, no sorrow. We're going to take them captives who captive their wars. The Lord going to give us rest from our sorrow and from our fear where we was made to serve. Where in the hard abundance we were made to say. That's Isaiah 14, 1 through like 3. Verse 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. So all these Israelites in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be righteous. Sexy red, she's going to get in her right mind. Uh, Lil Nas X gonna be in his right minds. And all these fucking sellout bug outs, man. They gonna be in their right mind. All right. Uh, you name whatever. These are so many wicked niggas, man. <laughs> they all gonna be in. The, they all gonna be righteous, man. Says <laughs> that people all. This is because that's the mercy that the Lord's gonna have on, upon us, man. All right. It says that people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planning, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. So this is all to me the glorification of the Most High Yahweh Bashimasha. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. And I will hasten it in his time. So a little one shall become a thousand. So what a man is gonna have more than a thousand kids, man. We're gonna live forever. So the Lord said Israel gonna be as the sand of the sea and the stars of heaven, which which shall not be counted, man. So we're going to have infinity amount of kids. And the Lord said you can't number Israel. So, hey, that means we're going to have to be filthy rich through the spirit, man. You got all those kids, all those mouths, all those lands, you know. The Lord's about to put us on a level that no one has ever seen before, man. So let's go to Revelation 22. I'll close out on that. Revelation 22 and verse that we gonna be uh, glorified in the kingdom. All right, 21 Salakia. 21. Revelation 21 and verse.
Revelation 21 and verse. Total chapter good, but I'll just get to the point. I just get to 18. It says, in the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. So, it's going to be a lot of gold in, in the streets, man. A lot of, lot of uh, riches, man. The <laughs> Wadi Abach Masha. It says, verse 19 says, in the foundations of the wall... And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manners of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, sardonyx if I'm saying the right, it's like it, and the sixth uh, sardius, the seventh crystallite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth. Chrysoparius, the eleventh, Jason, a Jason, the twelfth, and Amethyst. Verse twenty-one. And the twelve gates were twelve per were twelve pearls. Every gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. Man, so the the, the kingdom is gonna be different stones, gold. Different beautiful trees, the animals. All right. A lot of singing and dancing. All right. A lot of a lot of praising Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. A lot of lot of um, you know, joy for Israel. But you other these y'all gonna be working. Y'all gonna y'all gonna build these up. Y'all gonna go on the earth. Y'all gonna get these different minerals, these different stones, and y'all gonna build. Y'all gonna go to work, man. You gonna go to work and y'all gonna do it right, man. Through the spirit, the Lord's gonna to continue to bless us. That's what's something to fight for. All right, Yahweh Bashim Mashah has these blessings for us, and He said He's not gonna lie. All we gotta do is continue being diligent and serving the Lord in truth and sincerity. You know, repenting, you know, being more on point, and make, and make sure we get diligent and make our call action sure. And we're gonna receive these things, you know, if you truly believe and you truly have faith, and you and the Lord have mercy on you in your house, you're gonna see these things. All right, and you're gonna make and you're gonna have joy. All right. <clears throat> when these things, well, right now we have joy, but when we actually see it, hey, it's gonna be amazing, man. You know, so Lord winning this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Chakwadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone Jewel. And I want to give a peace and greetings and salutations to all the Lekakim. That's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Mike, keep pushing, keep it doing, Shalom.